Hi everyone, it is January 16, 2018. I want to thank my subscriber for leaving the link to this very interesting article, Rockefeller University, Doping Western Cultures with Oxytocin Will Cure Hatred of Refugees. Wow. Science of Social Engineering. And that includes direct manipulation of the human herd by putting chemicals into the water supply. It's a horror. Reminiscent of Nazi Germany. Yes, remember that fluoride. Oh, and remember, we are drinking that fluoride. Told that it was going to reduce cavities, increase dental health. Oh my God, it's been going on forever. It, it is so toxic, it creates apathy. And look at our populations, not just in the United States, but in a whole lot of Western countries. Researchers from Germany and the United States have published a study which concludes that doping xenophobic populations with massive quantities of the estrogen-linked hormone oxytocin will cure nationalism, making native citizens more accepting and generous towards migrants who simply want free handouts from Western taxpayers while Islamic extremists peacefully rape and murder infidels. Yes, that is going on. My God, this is what the study says. Accommodating the large influx of migrants not only challenges the humanitarian capacities of European countries, but also requires their native populations to adjust to rapid growths in ethnic diversity, religious pluralism, and cultural differentiation. However, the impetus to adapt to changing social ecosystems is susceptible to considerable inter-individual heterogeneity. Heterogeneity. Did I say that right? I think I did. I'm sure somebody will tell me if I didn't. Resistance to this transition often goes along with xenophobic sentiment. You know, it's not xenophobia. It is the people who live in the countries where they have this mass explosion of migrants, particularly from African countries. Those countries are having their social norms, their culture, everything that they knew before is being radically changed really quickly. And that's the point. It's not that these people are racist. It's not that they're xenophobic. It's not that they're nationalistic. They just want to retain their own cultures. Oh my God, this is a deliberate program to bring in the new world order, to get rid of borders, and to make everybody exactly the same. You can't have individual states with their own cultures, their own identity, their own roots. You've got to break it all down to get the world's people to be common. All right, you all know that. Um, yeah, so resistance to this transition as a consequence, recent elections in Europe have favored populist candidates who have openly expressed xenophobic attitudes toward refugees. And these are not refugees. These are people who are told, hey, you want to get out of your country and come into some Western country and we'll pay for everything? 
you'll live a better life? Who's going to say no to that? God, I wish people would just do some research. So in a related study, the co-author stated this, given the right circumstances, oxytocin may help promote the acceptance and integration of migrants into Western cultures. It's a love hormone, hug hormone, cuddle chemical. Oxytocin is secreted from the pituitary gland during sex, childbirth, and lactation. Influencing social behavior and emotion, it has been shown to increase romantic attachment and empathy invoking feelings of relaxation, trust, and psychological stability. The study concludes that a combination of oxytocin nasal spray and social pressure from other doped up participants resulted in xenophobic test subjects increasing donations to migrants by 74%. Oxytocin enforced social norm adherence could be instrumental in motivating a more generalized acceptance toward ethnic diversity, religious plural, um, plurality, and cultural differentiation. Differentiation, my God, I'm uh, having difficulty talking, resulting from migration. Furthermore, UNESCO, United Nations, has emphasized the importance of developing neurobiologically informed strategies for reducing xenophobic hostile and discriminatory attitudes. Reduce out group rejection may be an important step toward making the principle of social inclusion a daily reality in our societies. And the United Nations is also putting a lot of pressure on Western governments to accept unrestricted migration, unrestricted numbers of refugees. This is not going to stop until those people in our respective countries finally take hold of the power that they have and get rid of these government leaders who are who are agents of the United Nations to bring in the New World Order.